In this class, I want to go into a little bit more detail about the system usability scale that I introduced in the previous lecture. So the system usability scale is one of the most frequently used questionnaires to measure usability of a system. And it's a good idea to know how to use it properly. So let's start with a little bit of history. Uh, system usability scale was created by John Brook in 1986, and the goal was to measure the human factors engineering of electronic office systems. So it was mainly used to measure the usability of products. But when websites were released in 1991, people started using the same questionnaire to measure the usability of websites. So although it started initially with measuring usability of products, we started measuring usability of websites. And now this survey is used to measure usability of pretty much any digital application that you can think of, ranging from mobile apps to digital kiosks, to laptops, to machinery, to wearables, pretty much anything that you can think of, you can measure the usability of it using system usability scale. So some of the advantages of using a, a use, system usability scale is uh, that it's a, it's very it's quick, uh, meaning that the template is ready, readily available. You do not need to rephrase or think of your own questionnaire. So there are several other usability scales uh, that, that are available as well, but some of them are actually costly. You will have to pay uh, a subscription fee or a usage fee to use that questionnaire for every single participant. So the, with SUS, it's freely available, so you can use it without paying any extra charges. And it's, it's an administration is very easy as well. All you have to do is just ask the user to pick the, their choices on the, from a list provided. And uh, because some of the usability scales, you actually need one or two administrators to conduct that particular questionnaire. For this one, you don't need a lot of overhead, administrative or overhead. And the, uh, obviously, it's a well-tested and a reliable instrument. It has been around for several years. It has been tested out multiple times. So it's very re reliable, meaning that the results about the usability that we get by using this questionnaire is uh, are well accepted. And the answer, the results that it provides, they are actually very intuitive. You may immediately know what the number means. So this will become more clear as we go on. So the results are easy to interpret. That's one of the advantages of system usability scale. So let's look, look at the system usability scale in a little bit more detail. So it consists of 10 questions. And uh, as you can see, every odd numbered question is positively framed. So And every even number question is negatively framed. So I think that I would like to use this website frequently. So this response to this question, if you, uh, you can choose strongly agree, would mean that you are agreeing with this, the tone of this question. While the next question, I found the website unnecessarily complex. So this is a negatively framed question. So that's one of the reasons this works really well, because the first question ask the same thing in a positive tone and the next question asks the same thing in a negative tone. So in order to calculate an SUS score, we have to follow certain steps. So the first step is that we convert, we map each response to a number. So the strongly disagree uh, answers are mapped to a given one point and strongly agree responses are giving a point of five and all the other responses in between get the numbers in between. 
The next step is to sum all the odd number questions, the points for all the odd number questions, and also sum the points for all the even number questions separately. So you should end up with two sums at this stage. Next step is that you subtract the sum, sum of the points of all the odd number questions and you subtract 5 from it and then you subtract from 25 the sum of all the even number points. So that should give you two more numbers, x0 and y0. Then the last step is um, calculating the SUS score and this score is calculated by adding x0 and y0 that were calculated in the previous steps and then multiplying it with 2.5. Okay, so I'll show you an example of how it's done. Okay, so these so usually when we calculate an SUS score, we end up with a number that's between 0 and 100. So these numbers are not the same as a percentage or a percentile. It's just a score that needs to be interpreted. And I'm going to tell you how to interpret it. So if your score is 68, then you can give a grade of C to your system, which means that the system is OK to use in terms of its usability. But if the score is anything less than 68, if it's 51 to 68, you can still give it a grade of um, D, but it's awful. It's very bad uh, usability. Grade less than 51 just means really, really bad. You have to completely redesign your website. And so in the grades of 68 to 80 is good. And if it's above 80, 0.3, then it means it's excellent. So this is how you interpret these scores of SUS. And now I'll show you an example of how to calculate uh, SUS score. Okay, so this is uh, SUS of a participant. So the participant has provided their responses for each item of the questionnaire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just convert each response to a corresponding number. So here's what I've done already. So number one has been given, has been mapped to two, uh, two has been mapped to four, three has been mapped to four, and so on and so forth. And then I'm going to do the step two of the calculation where I'm going to sum up all the points for odd numbers odd numbered questions and even numbered questions separately. So this is what I get. So I get 14 for this is the sum of all the odd number questions and 18 is the sum of all the even number questions. Now the next step is that I am going to subtract from the sum of all the odd numbered questions. Okay, so this was my x, my 14. I'm going to subtract 5 from 14. And I'm going to subtract 18 from 25. So 18 is the sum of all the even number questions. Okay, so I'll end up with 9 for x0 and 7 for y0. So the next step is that I'm going to calculate, I'm going to add x0 and y0 together, and then I'm going to multiply it with by 2.5, and that gives me 40. And then I'm going to use the table to determine the a grade for this particular website. So, usability grade for the website and it comes out to be f so that means that the whichever website or app or or the product that i was trying to test has a very bad usability 
and I need to improve.